Good morning, everybody. It's Marcia here. I've got a lot of background noise today. Jamie said she warned you guys that that would be happen. <laughs> that would happen with me going live on a Saturday morning. I typically do my lives in the evening for this reason alone. So let's um, see if we can get some people joining and I'm gonna see if I can get it pulled up here on the laptop. All right, I see people jumping on. Let me see if I can get the video found here on the page and that way I can make sure I see comments because I can't see comments with, there it is. I can't see comments with my phone positioned above me. Okay. Well, hopefully this will cooperate for me. Let's see. I can't get it to play. All right. Yeah, my um, my computer won't play it. Well, good morning, everybody. Hi, Jamie, Jen, Jennifer, and Cheryl. I know it's really early for anybody on a different coast. All right, so let me go ahead and show you the card we are going to be making today. So we are going to be making a gel card. I don't know if anybody has ever made them before. Um, it's really cool because it's got this fun tactile feature here in the center. You can squishy it around. You can make them double-sided if you chose to cut through the inside front panel of your card as well. Um, so it's really a lot of fun. It's really super easy to make. So um, let's, let's get started. First, we're going to start by watercoloring our mermaid and her friend. Um, as mentioned on my scavenger hunt picture, we're going to be using this set. He couldn't breathe underwater, and I went ahead and pre-stamped the sentiment. Okay, so we're gonna set this off to the side. Good morning, Pam. Okay, and let's see, you know what? I bet I forgot to put a little tiny baggie over here. Oh no! I'm gonna take this out of here and we'll use this baggie. I had all my supplies sitting right here in a pile awaiting this retreat. So I had to take something out of this bag. So hopefully this bag is intact. Just make sure you have a little um, bag. That's really important. Okay, so let's work on watercoloring this. And I'm gonna show you how easily I do it. Uh, of course, you color with what other medium um, you have. I'm trying to leave space for the computer up here so I can follow along. I know, I love this set too. Hello, Carrie. <laughs> Watching by the ocean side, lucky ducky. Okay, let's see, that's not my cup. <laughs> okay, so I pulled, I left all the colors pulled out that I used on her when I colored her earlier, so it might not be exactly the same, but I'll try to keep things as close as possible. I went ahead and started, because I had never played with coloring light as it hits things. Hi, Laura. Uh, so this is my first kind of attempt at doing that. I'm just going to show you what I did, okay? So I just started by using the pencil and pulling the reflection out. I wanted to make sure it hit her arm and the top of her hand. Again, I'm using um, Spectrum Noir Aqua, Aqua Blend watercolor pencils. Okay, so I hit it there, and I did the same thing on this dude's. Let me get his eye on his face here. So I'm going to pull this off to the side and then we'll start building up the color elsewhere. So for her skin, I use ginger and we'll add, I'm going to just sketch all the color in first and then we're going to add the water. But you'll see why I think watercolor pencils are so much fun. Excuse me, I'm so congested first thing in the mornings. Yeah, I know, it, it is never the same twice, Jamie. You're exactly right. <laughs> we can try. <laughs> if you're coloring them side by side, you can usually get a lot closer, but I am definitely not doing that. My goal was to not spend so much time with the uh, coloring portion, but it's more on the technique. Hi, Sandy. If I'm missing anybody, hi, Faith. Okay, let's see, what color is this one? 
I must have used that for some of the, oh, I used that for the shadow here. Oh gosh, my, somehow my pencil lead broke in the meantime. Let's sharpen that up really quick. I know, I'm breaking the rules. You're supposed to sharpen the other way. Oh well, this is just a darker orangey yellow. It's called Mango. I'm gonna throw that right in here. Throw it right on this side. And that's about all I wanna put it in there. Okay, so now this is legit what I did with this part, okay? I just did, I don't know if you can see exactly what I'm doing here. I just kind of do these little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That's what I'm thinking in my head. I'm like, almost like I'm making little mini um, ocean waves. And that's all I'm doing here to try to create some texture. I'm gonna deepen there a little bit along here. We know it's going to be a little darker on this side. So I'll add some more. I'm using the darkest green here, uh, pine green. And do wavies here. This is gonna be a little dark coming out here. Down the side here. Wavy, wavy, wavy. And then I'm just gonna pull. <laughs> My kids are making some pretty funny. The husband is making breakfast for the littlest one. And they love those oil marinated mozzarella cheese balls. Oh. Yeah, oil balls are so tasty. <laughs> oh, brother. So if you can hear that. Yeah, so oil your balls. Lily really likes them. That's terrible. That is so terrible. Forget I said that. Scratch that. That's just bad. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, I'm using a Faber-Castell Faber pencil sharpener. And that was in response to, I think Faith asked the question. Yeah, the... Well, I was trying to figure out how to do it because watercolor, I'm definitely not a watercolor master here. I enjoy doing it. Um, and I think that's why I like the pencils because it's a lot of fun. Uh, cause, you know, you just kind of add the, the uh, water where you need to kind of pull the color out. So you, I feel like you've got more control sometimes than, than using a uh, liquid-based watercolor, you know? <laughs> yeah, we, we bought the, the uh, large container of oil balls at Costco. They love the oil balls. So now I'm just using a deeper pink. This one is called grapefruit, believe it or not. I would not have pegged this is a grapefruit color. Okay. Oh, brother. Lily is all is full of all kinds of entertaining over there. Lightest pink color is coral. It's okay. They expect noise in the background. And I'm just kind of throwing it. You see how sloppy I'm doing this, right? Again, that's what makes this kind of fun. Okay, let's see. Well, I, I love pink and aqua. And you know, they're, what do they call them? Complementary colors on the color wheel. So like red and green. So I tried to just shift it a little bit and pull those because they, I, I love um, how they work together. Okay, so what I, was tip, what I typically do is take some of the, the color that was left on my brush for the cheeks, but I'll go ahead and use some of this lighter pink, throw it here, and we'll throw some on our eyes as well up here. Let's see where I'm at. Let's layer on some lighter green. I have this parakeet green. Again, little waves of color. I'm gonna just lightly pull in more of that. What's nice is when it dries, you can add more color. When it's wet, you could come in with a pencil and get a darker, uh, get a darker color there. Sorry, <laughs> it's hard to think and talk while I'm doing this. Okay, so I think you guys, ooh, I missed a, that lower fin there. Let me pull in that. 
darker green. Um, well, I mean, so Jamie's asking what, what kind of breakfast do we cook that they use that kind of cheese? So, husband being of European descent, well, European by birth, um, breakfast is a much bigger deal than what I grew up with here. And, you know, you, you pull out all the guns, so, I mean, we're talking, he goes to the Euro store and gets the really yummy, oh, I'm using a indigo blue here, and I'm just gonna start pulling some color, and then I'm gonna layer in some green over that, and then we'll add um, water to everything. So, so there's always eggs. He'll go to the Euro store and get the really yummy uh, sausages, like the legit sausages. Um, for you, Jamie, there's always espresso involved. We have an espresso machine that he is rather fond of. I mean, in fact, that's how we met. <laughs> I worked at a Starbucks through college, and he um, needed coffee fix. He was driving a taxi. That's how we met. Aww. I don't drink coffee, though. Go figure, right? <laughs> do I have quick hands? I don't know that. Do I have quick hands? I don't think I've got quick hands. They're slicing through the paper with my pencil. Oh, brother. I'm, try I'm trying to keep up with comments. It's hard. When you're coloring. Okay, so we got that layer down. Let's go on to, I don't know, bright green. I'm just gonna add some more highlight here. And then the what's fun is we'll add some water here and it'll kind of pull things together. I didn't wanna spend too much time on this part. In fact, I might not complete the project. I don't wanna go over my time. I mean, there are other classes. I think the next one was in two hours, but I don't know if Miss Jamie had anything scheduled between here and there. Yes. No, I can't mute it. Yeah, see, husband wants to grind his beans for his espresso machine, so now you're gonna hear really loud, obnoxious sound that he does during my meetings when I'm at work, which is super amazing, but I, I can't really mute this super well. So while he makes obnoxious noise, I am going to um, pull the color. <laughs> He's asking me if I'm ready. Are we ready? Are you ready to hear? There it goes. And it always lasts longer than you expect it's going to. So I have an old glass um, yogurt jar for my my water. And if you've never played with watercolor pencils, this this is the most fun part is watching watching how this scribbled mess. Although I kind of like the texture of her tail as it is, to be completely honest with you. I like how it looks. It looks kind of organic and stuff, but Watch the magic. So Jamie, if you've never played with watercolor pencils, you might really enjoy this. And I've got a busted napkin over here that I'm using as my wipe off. No, Tati's just gonna eat breakfast. Okay. I know, I know. She doesn't eat breakfast like that. Amada, you can have that leftover pasta stuff that we made last night. Yeah, we tried this uh, roasted veggie ravioli and I'm apparently the only one that's gonna eat that. I made a homemade cream sauce to go with it and they were like, heck no. Yeah, I figured, Jamie, that you would approve of the grinding of the beans, but you see how cool that is? How it just smooths all those lines right out? And now I'm gonna go in here. I wanna retain that yellow there from the reflection of her dingleberry. I don't know what that thing is called. Her glowberry. Can I call it a glowberry, Jamie? Her glowing dingleberry. Guys, this is what I'm really like in real life, okay? I don't try to cover up my <laughs> who I is. Oh, brother. Okay, so I go. I hope you guys had fun last night uh, with the hunts. I tried to get some rest. And see, this is fun because we layer the colors. You can see how the colors, I know watercolors bloom, and I don't know that they're necessarily blooming with uh, the pencils so much. I mean, I guess technically they are, but you can see how you get all that fun, those fun color bits there. And I think it sounds, or it looks, um, I looked up and saw sound, <laughs> sorry, and it looks really cool. 
But I encourage you, if you guys have a Euro store in your towns, you should totally go in there and check it out. They've got these, the best little cookie things in there. They've got um, a jelly layer and not like our jelly, but like gelled jelly, if you know what I'm talking about. Gelled layer of um, fruit and then a soft like biscuit cookie all covered in chocolate. They're one of my favorite things. You can get them at regular grocery stores. Sometimes they have them in their international section. There are a lot more. Okay, you see how I was able to kind of weld her skirt to her body there? Okay, did I touch all those things? I don't know if I got this one. Okay, now we're gonna go to the glowing dingleberry. Oh, you know, Jamie, I kind of like what I call it better. Let your weird light shine. Heck yes, baby. That's why we're coloring this weird glowing dingleberry mermaid. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull that. I'm gonna add in some of that um, orangey color there again because I didn't mean to blend it out. Orangey, not orgy color. Oh gosh, here we are. Oily balls and orgy color. See, this is what you guys get when you come into the Caradinsa household. You are most welcome. Okay. Do you see how, what's happening here when I'm doing this? You see how fun this is? I don't know if you guys can appreciate it as much as I can because I'm on this side of the camera. I don't want to pull too much color into the dingleberry shine. And yes, I'm still gonna call it a dingleberry. Sure, yeah, Jen is asking if I can post pictures of some of our favorite stuff from the Euro store. Sure I can. I mean, I can just take a picture of the insides of our refrigerator. <laughs> well, he just, he went a week ago, so it is dwindling. But typically the dryer salamis, one of my favorite things, Costco actually has a variation of this. They don't call it this, but it's something husband calls um, kabanosz. It's a Polish, it's like a really long hot dog, but it's a sausage and it's so good. Oh man, I love to eat it with sharp cheddar cheese, which is not something they eat. They eat more uh, softer, milder cheeses or Swiss cheeses. I don't like Swiss cheeses. And, and what cheeses? Oh, well, that is, he said better. Of course, that's a matter of his complete opinion. Um, but yeah, nice sharp cheddar, my homemade bread, which he's doing some a keto variation, so I can't make my bread, but trust me, it's really yummy and crusty. And then he's Romanian, so they so she's done. Uh, actually, no, she's not done. Let me, I'm just gonna see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dab in here and then put that right there on her cheeks. See, I don't even have to get more pencil. I can just pull from here. We're gonna put some on her eyes, because you know, she's a, she's a really fancy glowing dingleberry mermaid. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna leave that as is. Forgive me, my, my allergies are so bad in the morning. Yeah, but okay, so back to the Romanian food thing. Yes, you can. And we made homemade blackberry cobbler yesterday. I almost posted a picture of that to the retreat. We've got blackberries blooming again to that pine green. And um, we made homemade blackberry cobbler. I'm telling you, you guys should come retreat down here in my neck of the woods sometime. I've tried to tempt the dynamic duo. I've lured them with the beach before. You could have fun. Okay. Whoa. Anybody else get nervous when they have to color those little bitty bits of things? The lighter green. I'm not worrying about this guy too much. He's he's got a tiny body. Yeah, the utensil drawer is right here. So thank you for that, husband. Some sound effects in the background. Let's see. Oh, where is it? I might be persuaded. Did you say the beach? Yes, I did say the beach. Let me take our little boat. It's awesome. It is an old one that we got from my brother. And he got for cheap when he had it. Um, I'm not done yet, sweetie pie. Not too much longer. And uh, so we take it to this little island. 
that you can only get to by boat. And it's beautiful. When you go on low tide, that is on high tide, there's like no beach. Low tide, you've got this huge expanse of beach where you can find a lot of cool shells, a lot of beach jellyfish the last time we went. A lot of sand dollars. We didn't see any last time though. And uh, lots of driftwood. Again, you see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of pulling the color out, okay? Beep, beep, beep. Bup, 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 bup. Do you ever do sound effects in your own head? Because I'll go, dee, 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 dee. <laughs> That's all I hear myself doing. I don't really need to blend this out. Okay, see, boom, that's it. We finished. Ta da! But we live about 45 minutes north of Charleston. Everybody knows Charleston, Charleston, South Carolina. And about an hour and a half or so away from. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. That's where I was living when I met the husband. Hmm. 13 years ago. When I was... Uh-oh. Computer went to sleep. Why'd you go to sleep, computer? I lost the comments. There we go. Jamie, you know how delicate these sand dollars are, right? I don't know that I could ship them. I mean, we barely make them back home from the beach, okay? In the girls' little plastic buckets. And then with their little hands touching them all the time. I don't think I wanna cut all this stuff out with you guys watching me. Cause I'm one of those freakos and I like to cut all these little spaces, especially because, I'll show you the card again. I'm just gonna finish this one bit cause that's gonna bother me if I leave that one there. Um, especially because you're gonna be able to see the jelly ocean beyond their dingleberries. <laughs> but yes, there's lots to do here. So if you guys ever did want to plan a destination retreat, you know this is a popular place to go do things. And we know the best Italian restaurant that has an accordion player who is amazing. We had him play at our wedding. Thank you very much. His name is Michael. And he always lets the girls push the deepest key. That's, see, I made that too thick. That's gonna bother me. Um, the deepest key so it makes it sound like he's farting. So anyways, I'm not gonna cut this one out too. You get the idea. So now let's go to assembly of this, okay? All right, so again, you saw what I did. If you want, um, I can blog this all up and I will put, I don't even, I think I used all the pencils. I'll put all the pencil colors I used as well. If that's beneficial, just let me know. If that will help you guys out. Oh no, I know why that cup was here. That cup was here to hold my pencils. Okay, so let me move all this out of the way so I can knock it over. Because <laughs> we know I can do that because you know my hands are so fast. That was for you, Jamie. Oh, yes, I probably should have been a surgeon. I know, I know, I know. We all can't do it. So instead, I cut things. Okay, let's see. All right, so again, inspiration card here. <clears throat> and I was cracking Jamie up because I was trying very hard to do a technique with things that most of you should have. I know the gel, I'll show you what I'm using. Dollar General Body Extreme Sport Hair Gel. So what's funny is you can actually smell the scent from the gel on the card just because whatever chemical smell they put in here is that powerful. <laughs> but any gel you have on hand will work. And it doesn't have to... The fact that this is light or blue has nothing to do with it. You can't even tell. So um, that doesn't matter. So don't feel like that matters. Yeah, that isn't going to matter at all. <laughs> We're the same ninjas. I used to have a pair of shoes that I called my ninja shoes. They had, I don't know which Asian writing it is. I promise I'm not trying to be insensitive. But um, they were these... Almost kind of like a yoga shoe. They were by Rocket Dog, I think. And they Velcroed across and they were real slick. And I called them my ninja shoes when I'd go for walks with my girlfriends. And I'd pretend like I was parkouring up the side of the walls and stuff. So anyways, that is my personality. You're welcome. Okay, so uh, again, I wanted to do techniques that would be easy enough for you to replicate with things you have on hand. So now we are going to do the Let's Ink 
with torn paper technique. You're saying, what, what is that? Yes, grab a piece of garbage paper. I rip all these pieces of paper up and keep them in my junk drawer. Because you never know when you're gonna need to write a note. Like, holy crap, we forgot to get milk. You can write that on your paper, right? In this case, I use them for inking. If I wanna mask something quickly, and for today, we're going to use it to create, I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to move out of the way, the sunlit window is back behind over my shoulder. But you see these, um, this, these cool lines here? Yeah, that's torn paper. So you don't need a special stencil for what I'm doing today. Of course, you are more than welcome to buy all the amazing special stencils from Sweet Sentiment, but all I wanna do <laughs> is rip my paper. Yep, see, rip it. Okay. Yep, that looks good to me. And then I pulled three different inks out, okay? Black soot is gonna be more to um, kind of deepen the edges a bit more here, because remember, our lady and her little dude are going to be about here. So if you need to mark that, oh yeah, that's right, I need my yellow pencil. So, class is just eating breakfast. so eating it's gonna be on here somewhere, so you can kind of go, hold your hand as steady as you can move this away and then put a dot there because you know this is where we want to keep it lighter does that make sense and I think I used a darker base on my example card but it, this part doesn't matter I would start with blue because it's easier if you start with the base color right that you can build upon oh and heck yes Sandy I know when you started doing all the ninja stuff it just made my little heart so happy <laughs> because I love it okay and then we know a smaller dingleberry fish no the angler fish I believe that's what he is called is going to go somewhere around here so again, levitate your pencil above said light ball, and we're gonna put a dot here. Because when we die cut this piece, we're going to then glue this down below. I don't wanna have to re-ink and try to match everything up, even though you can't really see that bit so much, but can you see the glow from his dingleberry glow ball? I did color it beneath there. So if you look closely enough, your eye might catch and go, oh wow, there is detail there that you might not notice at first glance, okay? And don't you love all those? Oh delicious little popping bubbles in there. That's what makes this such a fun technique. And it's ridiculously easy. I'm wasting more time chit-chatting with you and doing these minor bits than the construction is gonna actually take. Okay, so we're gonna set our glowing critters aside. Again, black soot will be for around the outside of the panel. And we're gonna work with Mermaid Lagoon and Tumble Glass. Again, whatever blue inks you happen to have, um, oxides I love because of the way you can layer, especially lighter colors on top of darker papers. Uh, but again, don't stress that. Use whatever bluish inks that you have. Okay, where are my brushes? So we are going to start with this tumbled glass and I probably should have had a white. I would recommend picket fence as well because my paper is lighter. You might not be able to see it as much. So I'm gonna go over here where these glow balls are. I'm gonna kind of lay the paper on here. It doesn't really matter how. And what I want to do is kind of create a ripple. And we might come over this again after we layer on some of the darker Mermaid Lagoon, okay? You can barely see it, but it is there. When the light catches it, it, it I mean, it's such a fun textural line there. Yeah, see, if you get ocean smelly hand sanitizer, this card will hit all the bases there. So again, I'm gonna come over to other glow ball. And what I wanna do is show that the ocean is indeed lighter around their dingleberry glow balls, okay? So I'm gonna just shift this just where my torn paper bit is. I mean, ocean waves don't look identical, right? And we're just gonna kind of shift that around there. I'm gonna add, again, just above this other one. And I'll show you what we'll do to add some more glow around there, but I don't know if, yeah, you can kind of see it better like this if I tilt it. Isn't that cool? Rip it good, that's right. Yes, everybody go refill it while I do this. Oh, did I see Dawn on there? Hi, Dawn. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to lid my tumble glass and we're gonna go right to Mermaid Lagoon. I mean, it kind of makes sense to use Mermaid Lagoon while you have a mermaid on a card. Now I'm just picking random spots. Yeah, my paper moved, big deal. You show me an ocean that's, that doesn't shift. I'm gonna try, see I went a little too close here, but I'm gonna try um, to keep this ink away from our glow spots that we dotted on the card. 
ink, ink, ink. And I ripped a new piece of paper because you see this one, it started to get kind of worn out right here. And I didn't want it to disintegrate any further than it was. Yes, Lily. I'll be done soon. Oh, no. The end of the world. We were going to do crafty stuff today, but this is not what she meant by that. Shift. And because my the base of my paper is woo -hoo, lighter here, you can see these wave ripples better. Try to get one more in here. Oh, gotta shift. Uh oh. I'm legit just trying to pinch this onto the very edge of the paper. I know I don't care if my fingers get super inky. Um, I just want to try to lay that color down as best I can. Because it's going to be a lot darker down here. So I'm just going to pull more of this darker blue in here before I add the black soot because they're in the nether regions. You see even how we're adding that color? Isn't that beautiful how that looks? Oh, okay, Jen. Well, you guys can, you can catch the, the finish, um, the part you didn't get to see on replay in the group. Oh, did you see the tiny hand come through? What is in there? Gel. Isn't it magical? Mm -hmm. I'll open it. Are you going to open it? I couldn't see the gel. Oh, snap. I moved my, my die cutting machine out of here. <gasps> I was trying to pick stuff up in here. That's what I get for doing that. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Hello, Dawn in Australia in the future. Try to match that card? Yeah, I'm gonna try to match that card as best I can. So now I'm gonna just come in with that tumbled glass one more time. And now I'm gonna have some glass. some of this darker blue ink on there. I'm just going to go in there a little bit more. Lily, what are you doing? good there. Now let's do the black soot. So I can get rid of my amazing paper mask. Lily, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Sweet pie. Again, we're just going to and then that cool, it almost like pulls the, the initial inked wave bits, ocean current bits up the more you layer atop it. I think that's so neat. You don't have to lean as heavy on this black soot as I am, but I'm, I want to really emphasize um, the glow balls. Now, what I consider doing, but I know not everybody has this, you could always, which would be really cool, add that LED light from this hair like this. Thank you, thank you, Obi add uh, one of those light kits to make this glow as well, which would be really cool. Wait, no, he's just making a lot of noise. Yes, you can. He's got his headphones in his ears, so he can't hear what he's doing or the fact that the girls need his help and attention while I'm doing this video. Okay, let's see. <coughs> What did I miss here? Jamie, I can't find my paper. Do you have some in stock? It means we have a shipping without shadow. There is no highlight. Yeah, that's right. That is exactly right. So this is the base of our background. Doesn't that look really cool? Now, to further emphasize our glow spots, I take that yellow pencil that we used previously, banana, and I am just doing spirals. No, I'm, I don't want to, and then I'm lightening the touch on the pencil as I go out, okay? But I, I don't want it to be... like a solid circle. I, I want there to be space in between there. You see what I'm doing? Again, this is the glow. Spiral out, lift the touch of the pencil, 
on the paper as we expand our circle. I feel like that should be like a guided meditation thing. You see? Yes, exactly, Jamie. You could make that glow from behind. So do it. Challenge. But so you see what we did there? Isn't that awesome? Okay, so I am so glad you love the background. And you see how easy this is, guys? Torn paper, three inks. Well, yeah, three inks if you want. And then your, your pencil for the glow balls. So I'm going to let you guys, you know, meditate upon this scene while I go grab my die cutting machine, which is not very close by because I moved it off the counter like a Dumbo head last night. Okay. Because we do need to, let me make sure I've got the die and I'm running down there to get it. And then we can wrap this up. Where did I put it? <laughs> oh, where's the circle? This is what I get, guys. I, I had everything laid out right here. Where did it go? It's stuck to the bottom of my machine. Okay, let's just look inside the bag. Oh, you know what? I might have put it back in here. I thought I left it out, though. It's either one of these two circles, the stitch circle. Okay, it's this one. But again, you could use a smaller one if... So this is where I'm going to go get my die cutting machine. And if you guys don't have a tiny little baggie, like uh, used for jewelry earrings, I pray to bejesus there are no holes in this bag and the gel oozes out. Um, this is where you would go get a little bag, your hair gel, if you forgot you needed it, or yummy ocean smelling hand sanitizer. And I will be right back, okay? Play Jeopardy music. Jamie, keep them entertained. Let's see, what can I move out of my way? All the things. Okay, we'll leave this stuff here. I'm just trying to make room for my die cutting machine. Up here. Okay. I need all of these bits for my, yeah, let's just throw that garbage on the floor. That's a good spot for it. Okay. So I've got my, my mermaid die cutting machine. <laughs> I have that Jane Davenport one with the mermaids on it. It's by Spellbinders. I don't know if you've ever seen them. Here, I'll tilt this sideways. Meow. It's so pretty. Okay. So, let's cut a hole in that beautiful background. Again, you'll need a um, A2 folding card, because we are going to have to mount it on there. Oh, no. <gasps> I'm going to have to reattach his dingleberry. Move that. You will need a circle. It doesn't have to be a stitch circle. Um, you can even, you know, figure out where your placement is. Lightly trace a, the bottom of a glass, a can, something, if you don't have it. I, I'm sure most of us have circle dies, but in case you don't. And then just carefully, I mean... If you see where she's gonna cover, you can roughly cut in here and it won't matter. <clears throat> so we know, I know, I'm gonna be cutting somewhere about here, right? It's kind of in the middle-ish of the card. If it shifts, it's not the end of the world. So I'm gonna pull that over here while it jumps the minute I set it down. And we're gonna die cut the center out of our really cool background. I really hope you guys try this torn paper thing. I mean, I'd love to see you guys try the, the gel too. Okay. All my garbage piling up on the floor. Hooray. Okay, so I'm done with this pencil. All right, forgive me, I keep snuffing my nose is so 
So here's this piece, this piece, kind of keep an idea of where this was. I think on this card I had her situated um, a little there, so we can't see the yellow as such. <coughs> so <clears throat> I want to make sure we, we see it, so I will come in here because she's going to cover some of this. I want to make sure we get the idea of the glow. And what I want to do <clears throat> before we add this gel layer is I want to make sure we glue this down <laughs> in the center or, you know, where it kind of lines up. So situate that there. And let me see, all my little glue tubes are running out of glue. I think I have enough to finish this bit. So again, you're not going to see it really well, but I mean, I wouldn't want to put it in upside down. <laughs> I'm just throwing some glue there. <clears throat> Flip this over. Especially because it's a wet glue, we've got some wiggle room here to get it put in position right. Just pop it in the hole like a puzzle. Okay. And then lift this out. Now, one thing I did um, for the border of this, I just used a white base. Grab that blue blender, blender brush we used to create this amazing background. And I just did this. The residual ink that was there. My computer keeps going to sleep. I don't know why. And I inked my card edges. Yes, elevator music. Do, 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 do. Ooh, I'm at 45 minutes. We'll be done here in a moment, guys. But you're getting the whole process. We did the coloring, the inking, background creation, and card making magic. Let me drink some more water. And yes, I am drinking water for my giant water bottle. Love those water bottles. <clears throat> Okay, so let me put my dies to the side so I don't lose them like I thought I did earlier. Okay, so if you can see how we're gonna start constructing this, okay? Baggy just fits the opening. So make sure whatever shape you cut, your baggie will cover it. Littler bags are great. You could potentially do a sandwich baggie and then roll the top and glue it down, but you would probably need a um, uh, more of like a slimline card design. <clears throat> You don't need to um, food color the gel at all. Because Jamie, see, we're setting it right over our inked background. It's not gonna matter. Um, I tried, you can add glitter, sequins. Glitter is great because it's little enough um, into the gel, um, but you're, you don't need to color the gel at all. See, because that's, <clears throat> excuse me, that's essentially what we're doing here. And you, are you seeing how easy this is, guys? I'm legit gonna put gel in the bag glue it all together and boom, that's how you make a gel card. So please don't be intimidated by these little techniques here. Okay, so you ready? Got your gel. Are you gelling? Wasn't that a thing? Are you gelling? Is that a commercial? I can't remember if that was a commercial. Yeah, this is where the magic happens. Wait for it, because you know, these things like ketchup, everything likes to make farty sounds when you try to squeeze it down. Okay, so. Open baggy. Squirt in the gel. Beep. I find, because I always overdo it when I haven't done it in a while, you really do not need a lot. Okay? You're going to go, hey, Marsha, that's ridiculous. No, it's not ridiculous. I'm going to try to mush some of this air out, although we do want air bubbles. And then you seal the baggy. Where is my score tape? Where did you go? Again, come over here. I want to make sure the edge of my score tape flap or the flap of the bag when I fold it over is going to show. If not, you can trim this back. I do like to score tape this down. But yes, you can add glitter. I'll smudge it around more, but while I'm doing this bit, in fact, sometimes I get really anal retentive about this and I will add score tape on the inside because I've shipped these before and typically they do okay. I've had one kind of squ 
squidgy out a little bit on occasion. But all in all, um, these stay intact. I would just, you know, make sure if you ship these that you put them in a padded envelope for sure. Again, you don't have to do this part. This is just me being silly. I don't know where Tati is. You can go check. Of course, now I'm going to say blast. Why did I decide to do this? Because, you know, this is everybody's favorite part is watching people try to re remove the... Oh my gosh, the adhesive backing to score tape. It's like everybody's favorite part of a video. Oh, come on. Get off, get off. <laughs> Holy macaroni. This is not, oh my goodness. Ah, ha ha. Success at last. Sorry, that was just brutal. Sorry, I'm, I keep sniffing my nose. Okay, I'm gonna do a layer here. This should definitely come up easier. Then we're gonna fold this flap down. This is just a precautionary measure. Okay, now you see where this is gonna be placed here. I'm gonna add score tape on these two sides of our opening to help secure the bag in place. Exactly, Dawn, yes. Yeah, use up all those glitter vials you have and make sparkly oceans. Okay. Mush that into your score tape on either side of your peek through. And there you go. Now you can smudge it all around. And you got some awesome bubbles in there. And it's fun, it's so much fun to squish, it really is. Now, as you would with any <clears throat> shaker card, we have to layer foam tape onto the back. Uh, I think I just did a single layer of foam tape too, because if you look, this really doesn't take up a lot of space. Oops, sorry. And if you did put a bit too much gel in here, just smush it toward the center where it's gonna push up through the center of the card, okay? If you wanted to do a double layer of foam tape, by all means. I don't feel like that's necessary for me. But you do you. Isn't that what people say? You can use um, Jamie's Sweet Pops if you've got them. You just might be using a whole lot of them. <laughs> it's, out of part. it's out of battery? I made it to get out of battery. Oh boy. She loves watching Brave Wilderness on YouTube, which Don't. I say is okay. I'm not going to say anything like that. He, uh, his name is Coyote Peterson. <clears throat> and I guess he's coined himself <clears throat> the King of Sting. No, please don't do that to me, Amalia. Well, Amalia. Don't say it. I, I didn't say anything. You I will did. say it if you keep messing with me. I won't say that she loves him. See? I won't say that. Okay, and this is gonna be a bit too wide to go through there. So I'm just gonna cut some. I know, again, this is another fun part that everybody loves to watch people do. Now I can get my thing that I want. Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> I'm concerned that we're gonna hit the uh, that piece up there. And we might, meh, meh. These are my sticky scissors, as you can tell. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. I need to clean them with some alcohol. Need to clean them, need to clean them. Thank you, Amalia. Hey, you don't have to be super annoying now that Tati's not here to ask you to please stop. Very annoying. Amalia, I'm serious, sweet pie. 
Dude, it isn't funny. I know you think it's dang hilarious. You stop it. You stop it. Okay. Amalia, could you try to make less noise? I'm being serious now, okay? But yeah, this is fun. And you see how easy it is. I mean, again, the most time can... And I'm not going to add. Nah. Nah, I'm not going to add anymore. But you see how easy this really is, right? Well, good. I'm glad that you think this is a fun way to kick it off. With all my... My real life sounds in the background. Bless you, Lily. Oh, yay. Look. We need music again because it's time to pull the release crap off the sticky stuff. Holy yoy. And off. I don't know how you guys with fake nails do this. Ugh. I've only gotten fake nails a couple times in my life, like before prom, you know, because that's when everybody's got to do it. And I had them ripped off my fingernails before the weekend was over after prom. I just can't do it can't do it. And then when I was in high school, <coughs> excuse me, I had, I wore contacts and I could not get contacts out of my stinking eyeballs. What are you eating, Amalia? Dessert. Dessert. Oh, the cobbler. Did you heat it up? It's really good if you heat it up in the microwave. Um, no. Sure. Now the lining up time. Just a little. I'm trying to turn this so I can see better. But I put it in the that's okay. You won't heat it up for very long. You're fine. And boom. Ta-da. Boop, 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 boop. See? Apple's in there. Tweezers. Oh. You know, Jamie, my eyes are so bad. The only kind of contacts that really work super well for me are those, the hard lenses, the gas permeable lenses. And my vision with them is incredible. However, they're kind of a pain to get in and out sometimes. The shape of your eyeball changes to the shape of the lens. So when I took out my contacts, they never told me this when I first started wearing gas permeables. And I didn't wear them for very long because of the issues like this. When I took the lens out, because my eye had shaped, um, had changed shape to fit that gas permeable lens, um, even with glasses, my vision was then blurry. Um, until your eye would kind of go back to the shape. But that just, that just freaked me out. And I said, you know what? I'm okay with my glasses. This is who I is. Okay. So there you have it. I won't waste any more time fussy cutting these out with you guys. But as you see, you can see the glow here. We're going to put this dude here. I'll get a little closer. I know you're waiting for me to be done. I'm just going to get a little closer to the edges here so you can kind of see a basic shape here. You guys can finish this on one of your breaks. Please tag me when you post it. I don't always see these things on on purpose. Oh, you want to feel it? What do you think? Where, where I got the jelly? Right here. The jelly was in there. Oh, ah, cute. yeah. See, so she's going to go here. This guy, you can feel it again here in just a moment. She, this guy is going to go here. You want to feel, oh, you want to put your hands in the jelly, huh? Mm -hmm gonna try to I always mess this up You're with how done. straight it is yep I'm almost done yes. that worked yes I know we're gonna mount this here just keep in mind because you got this plastic baggie here the best way to adhere things to this is with score tape I haven't found that I don't want to trust um, a wet adhesive for that and score taping just mush it right through that gel and remush everything back and then your enamel dots up in the corner there to complete the card. I think that's it. I use the lighter ones. Maybe we'll use this color this time. This one will go up here. I think I did put that one there strategically because I had the, I think the plastic bag had made like a bumpy right there. Again, cover it up with the crap you've got on hand, right? Enamel dots to the rescue. We'll throw one up here, throw another one down here. And that finishes our card once you cut these out and adhere them. 
So you get the gist of this. I think I put, yeah, I did put foam adhesive on the, that only the one side of this sentiment panel. You're one of those people, you gotta try it 50 times to make sure you don't mess it up and put it in the wrong spot. So when you do that again, um, you can trim this up some more if you wanted to. I am gonna mess it up if I tried to trim it up too much. Wink. Oop, my, my foam adhesive might be a little bit too close to where I'm gonna cut now. Boom. See? There we go. Ooh, I got a corner. All right, make sure that's kind of squared up there. Boop. And that's a card. So I hope you guys enjoyed this class. I really, really hope you will try this technique. I mean, and look how different the backgrounds are because you started with a lighter color paper here versus here. I actually like the lighter color paper better. You can see the, the ocean current changes um, better. So anyways, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the retreat. There's some amazing classes um, and projects that you'll be making. And uh, yeah, have a happy Saturday. Good weekend. I'll see you guys um, in the group. Okay, bye.